blood. Mortal blood. Watch for blood events. They are not Frost's most trusted servants. If we encounter them, the Anchorite may be nearby. That shot in the house. Alright, that is gonna take some. One, two, three, go! Okay. I love that bastard's like that. If Nockfrost harvests the Anchorite's blood, she may not survive the process. <laughs> hey. How your blood train this reason? Oh, the Anchorites. Alright. She smells. So noted. Different. She broken. sense her presence as well. Thank you. Okay. I guess we're following there. there. Blood Lord Zaba. And he has the anchorite. Let us listen in. Where? Your blood will oh. empower the perfected cataclyst and birth an incarnate to conquer all for Mehrun's Dagon. I'll destroy that device just like I destroyed the Riven Cataclyst. Vulcanaz Nakfroz, cast down the foolish Aerox and purge the Order of the Waking Flame. You will submit too. Bring her. Nakfroz awaits us in the volcano. And you there, in the shadows. We will deal with you soon enough. <laughs> foolish! When I am restored, I will return and slaughter them all! Another time, Aerox. How do we reach that volcano? Through the door to the north. Soon, Nakfros will feel my wrath! Okay. The blade bearers draw the attention of most of the okay. fortress, but they will not endure much longer. We must hurry. Oh. I was a victim of that there. That's a okay, waste, uh, I suppose. You know. Usually you'd head in when they're up, and then you go over. But uh, well, glory! I had to uh, charge in while they were hidden, and I don't know how that worked out. But I managed to go through after they made the swim, come back through. So that feels like luck. from here as i feared the blade bearers falter these are the mighty oh. blade bearers neil rinkaius or vulcanar's not for us will erase your clan from existence let me at him let me at him the path to the cataclysm lies ahead but the blade bearers are in trouble if they fall all eyes will turn toward us as we ascend we will never reach the anchorite 
Perhaps now is the time to release the magic stored in the Twisted Rod. What does the magic stored in the Twisted Rod do? I am guessing, but a guess is all I have. I believe that the Twisted Rod holds the key to breaking Aerox's curse. The magic inside it, it's Aerox's true form. Oh, right. If I break the rod, Aerox would be restored to his former glory. For a time. Only for a time? Time, or lack thereof, is the issue. If I had more of it, I could work out a permanent solution. But if we break the rod without removing the curse, it may restore Aerox. At least until the curse reasserts itself. We could certainly use his power. So, we sacrificed Aegor's long-term restoration to use his powers now? If we want to save the Bladebearers and the Anchorite, yes. I will also need to stay behind. Oh. I can stave off the curse, but even that won't allow him to retain his true form for long. Take the rod and decide quickly, mortal. As I said, time is short. Uh, what do you think, Aaron? Break the rod! Release me to seek my vengeance! I demand it! No, are you stupid? No, no, we're we're not we're not doing that. Is there any other option? So basically, she asked me what I what I should do, and then gave me no choice as to what race. So basically, I am being forced to uh, sacrifice his long-term happiness. Even though he is a data that looks to treat people, but sacrifice his future for now. That's cruel. I, I don't like this.